Hi there guys, my name is Connor and today we're going to go ahead and talk about TechWaru. And I'll introduce you to the interface, the various tools within TechWaru, and how to best use it in your repair shop. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so this is the startup screen that we see for TechWaru, and here we can punch in our customer name and our ticket number. As you can see, I've already done that. And we also have the option to not prompt ourselves for this in the future. If you don't use an internal ticketing system, then you can go ahead and check this. But let's go ahead and click continue and go to the main interface. Okay, so the tools page here is split up into three different sections. The first is category, the next is tools, and the last is queue. Now, each tool in TechWaru is separated into a category. And so by clicking that category, you can reveal that list of tools. And the toolbox here lists all the tools that can be added to the queue for automation. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear the queue for demonstration purposes and go back up to the tool list here and either double click or use this arrow here to add various tools. Now removing is just as easy. You can either use the left arrow here to remove tools or you can double click a tool within a queue. Okay, now we're going to put this into practice and build what we call a preset, which is essentially just a list of tools in the queue that we might save for later use. Okay, so we've slowed down here to highlight the fact that you can search for a tool in TechWaru if you aren't exactly sure where you might find it. And in this case, I'm looking for 99 Pro in 1, which I can add to the queue by either double clicking the tool name or clicking add to queue here in the bottom. And once I'm done, I want to go ahead and rearrange one of these tools so that I can move it up to the top. I'll grab Kill Explorer and do that. Okay, this is just the way I like it, and I imagine that I might use this in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and save it for later use by clicking down here, and we'll title this preset Live Demo. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save as Default here, which allows me to just load this preset automatically when TechWaru starts up. So essentially, you could run this preset immediately by just clicking Run. And if you ever lose this queue and you'd like to get it back, you can just go ahead and click Load instead. That will pull up the list of presets that you have saved already, and you'll find Live Demo here at the bottom. But there's also quite a few other presets in here that we haven't seen yet. Now these are the RepairTech default presets that come with TechWaru when you first launch it. And go ahead and use these to your advantage. A lot of new technicians will use these presets as templates for them to build their own. But we're going to go ahead and just select Live Demo again, and we're going to go ahead and run it now. Now what TechWaru is doing is it's automatically going through each of the tools that we told it to run. It's going to go ahead and download them as it's needed, run them automatically, and proceed on to the next tool. All the while, it's snagging the logs from each of these tools and putting them together for the report at the end. Okay, so TechWaru just finished its automation, and now it's gathering up all the logs and producing a single report at the end that we can look through. Now this report is being automatically uploaded to TechPortal, so we can view it anytime we'd like, and it will also forward to our integration if we've set it up. Now, we'll go through the details of this report in another video, but you've just completed your first automated run within TechWaru. Go ahead and try TechWaru out for yourself, and build your own preset that you would like to use in your shop. Meanwhile, if you have any questions or you just wanted to go ahead and say hi, go ahead and contact us at support at repairtechsolutions.com. Thanks for watching.